chapter 3 of the book of Galatians, as we read verse by verse through this book, Paul addresses this congregation with a very interesting title, with a very interesting word. Listen to what he says, chapter 3, verse 1. He says, O foolish Galatians. Now that's an interesting word, foolish. He's not calling them stupid, not calling them dumb, but he is calling them, if you actually understand the word, kind of, well, mentally lazy that they're not pursuing with great, I would say, strength or courage what they've been taught. They just settled for something less. Listen to what he says. Who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? And here's what's going on. Well, all through the book of Galatians, they came to Christ through faith. They heard the gospel. They were filled with the spirit. And then because of these Judaizers, as they call them, people who try to pull Christians out of a life of faith back into a life of rules and regulation, or you could say the law, they're trying to mix faith and law. Come to Christ by faith, but then try to please him by keeping the law. And so Paul comes to them and says, this is foolish. You can't do it both ways. There's only one way to know him, only one way to serve him, only one way to follow him, and that's by faith in Christ, not by keeping the laws and the rules of the Jews. In fact, he says, did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit, you're now being made perfect by the flesh? And this is kind of a trap that happens to Christians today. They come to the Lord, they serve the Lord, they begin to follow the Lord, and then pretty soon, instead of continuing that life of relationship and prayer and following the Lord, they get into rules and regulations and memorizing scripture and all these different things, and they think, well, that's what pleases the Lord. And Paul would say to you and me, if we fall into that trap, it's foolish. There's nothing you can do to make him love you more or care more about you. Of course, you can grow in him, but don't be a foolish Galatian. Having begun in the spirit, end in the spirit. Don't try to perfect your faith by doing good works. 